Welcome to the Adventures in Game Development, Chapter 15. It's Thanksgiving, and we're giving thanks to our subscribers by making this video. Marcel is actually working, but fat ass over here is eating the entire Damn. pumpkin pie. It's my dinner. Wow, right, we have a lot to show off. Let's just let's just do it. Peter has been on a secret assignment for like weeks now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is. He's actually been working, believe it or not. Peter, your script just crashed. Oh, no. -uh. What? Dude, it wasn't ready yet. You was trying to Dumb allocate ass. an item that doesn't exist. <laughs> you guys are stupid. Just re-record it. I'm not re-recording this. Oh, my God. This is going to be the shittiest adventures ever. Okay, so on our last video, which will be a, the J-Force Gay Bar video, I was the guy that made the actual level. And there were several reasons that I wanted to do that. One, because I was lazy and I don't feel like working with Lua because that's Peter's deal. And two, because I've never actually done that part of the development cycle. I've never actually used the editor to make a level, and then run the level in the engine. And I mean, as you could see, it worked out. It got the job done. And it, overall, it was really good, but it wasn't exactly what I had in mind for Elysian Shadows. It wasn't that level of good. So I went off and I came up with a few ideas for how to make the editor and engine sync better. Because the overall goal was to have the editor as like the one utility that you need to make the game. Other than Lua, you need Lua and the editor. And those are the only utilities. So we came up with a bunch of stuff that Marcel will show later. And also, we talked to the artists about things that they wanted, and got some horrible concept art I drew here. Here would be an ideal scene for Elysian Shadows. As you can see, it's pretty complicated. The amount of layering, the amount of things on the scene are broken up. There's object tile layer 1, which would be underneath everything. And then object tile layer 2 is like the bridge, the upper plateaus, things like that. And then overlay layers for things like the... Uh, canopies overhanging the level stuff like that and uh, Marcel and I have just been working on implementing that stuff into the engine and editor I guess Marcel will show you all right so Falco gave me a list of crap he's like add this to the editor so I got to work to begin I doubled the amount of layers that were present um, as you guys have seen it there were there are primarily a tile layer object layer item layer and I guess warp layer um, Items and warps aren't layers in the engine, just your Okay, editor. okay, sure. Um, so, here's the top layer of items, or no, objects and tiles. Objects, tiles. Here's the bottom, objects and tiles. Top is drawn on top of it to create something like this. Here's an object on top of an object on top of a tile on top of a tile. See? We, just right there, I doubled the amount of layers in the editor. It was a bitch to code. Um, then care. I worked on... He told me to add this entire drop-down menu. Engine. Um, run currents. I can literally now invoke the engine from the editor. So I could change crap in the editor. Um, I don't know. Add a warp. You know, lay some tiles. Whatever. And then just go to run current and test it instantly. It's like the most that. useful thing you've ever done. Um, yeah, so let's see it in practice. Run current. Check it out. 
my laggy piece of crap. Here we go. Alright? This is the level I'm currently editing. Alright? Running in the engine. So if I close it, I don't know, go down here, um, add some tiles somewhere, uh, here we go. Add a patch of grass, that'll work. And then run current. Here we go. It takes care of it all for me. It's running in the engine, right as I did it. That is badass. Alright, next badass. on the agenda, um, in case Peter screws up some of his Lua scripts, I can just also launch the debug.txt. This is a text file that the engine outputs that's got every single, I don't know, problem. It, sh it shows its initialization and loading. What it diagnoses errors. It prints, like, all the files the engine's trying to load. If it's not there, it'll tell you. Yeah. And then finally, some of the graphics artists have been bitching, bitching at me to do this Wait. forever. Yeah. So, I added this button, Reload Sheets. So I can go into Paint, um, edit one of the sheets. I don't know. Here. I had a smiley face. Um... Then I can just go to Reload Sheet, and ta-da! In the editor, whatever I changed is now there. Um, then check it out. It'll be in the engine as well when I launch it. And that, my friends, is what I've been adding to the editor. All right, let's try this again. Let's see what Peter's been working on. Okay, so this is Choo Choo Rocket. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a puzzle game for the Sega Dreamcast. And Game and, Boy Advance. Yeah, and Game Boy but Advance. But of course, it's better for Dreamcast. Yeah. See his little cursor there? And, um... <laughs> well, basically in the game... game editor? <laughs> shut up. Highly modified. There are... He's laying eggs. There are mice, and there are rockets. There's a rocket down there. There's mice up here. Yeah. And you lay arrows. There are four arrows, you know, each direction. Right. And there's also cats, but I don't have that in. Yeah. But, um... When the mice hit walls, they turn, and you show you to... show us the mice doing their okay. thing. See, oh, 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 oh! When they hit the arrows, they go in whatever direction the arrows pointing them in. Right. But yeah, I don't know what I just did. But uh, the the goal is to get the the mice into the rocket using the, the arrows. Right. That one went in. Yeah, I saw that. But so they follow the arrows. <laughs> oh, you just sent that one out of the level. It's a little bit messed up. So right is it just going to um, keep walking down forever since the yeah. level's not? Oh, my God. It, it's, I brought it back right there. Some random oh, you did? Yeah, it's, make it's them, make them do their thing again. That's really cool. It's a little bit messed up. And there's one <laughs> there's that starts outside the level. Let me, let me emphasize, I added absolutely nothing for Peter to do this. He's just like, and hey, guys, I'm going to make a game. <laughs> and he did it. There's this a, is all just Peter. A little bit messed up when they collide with each other. Yeah. You just <laughs> send it out. Yeah, dude, that's cool.